and Hiroki. So now we're going to learn how to make a yo-yo. So first you need your needle and thread as I demonstrate how to like thread and stuff in the video before this one. So you'll need your needle and thread already threaded. You, you can usually do this after you get your stuff set up, but I went ahead and did it before. And you will need some scissors. And if you don't already have like a circle template or something, um, go ahead and make one. And if you don't you know how you can make one or stuff, you just get a bowl or a pot lid or like any circle object of any size. And so what you can do, like you can grab a bowl, put it on some cardboard and then like trace around it and then cut that out. Or, yeah, like just do that and then use that as your template. Oh, and you're also going to need a pencil. You'll know why in a second. Okie dokie. So first, so go ahead and make your template. And after you've made your template, First, you are going to, um, sorry, my fabric. So I'm going to lay my circle down on my fabric. There's enough room for me to trace and stuff. So here, I get it is on my fabric. Looks just like that. So now I am going to, I'm gonna trace all around my circle on the fabric. Don't press down too hard, but like just don't press down too hard. I'll see you in the next clip. So now once you've got your circle traced on your fabric, you can kind of see here, you kind of can't. But like once you've got your circle traced, you're going to grab your scissors and cut out your circle. And I just realized this, but I forgot. You need to have an iron and an ironing board. But if you don't have an ironing board, you can just have like a towel like a bath towel that like you would use to like dry yourself off once you're gonna towel and fold it up and stuff. Can use that. So now you're gonna cut out your um, circle. Cut out circle time. Do it. And you have to cut around the lines and like cut as neatly as possible. You have to cut right on the line. Try to cut as perfectly as you can, okay? So once you've cut out your circle, place it on your towel or ironing board and plug up your iron and let your iron sit. Like with mine, it will have like a dot and a light and it will be on. And once that light turns off, it will be ready. But when you make sure it gets warm and place it flat on your surface. But something I also forgot to um, say is um, watch... Well, no, if you can try to trace on the wrong side of your fabric, which is the not pretty side, okay? So the light on my iron is off. So I'm going to make sure this is flat. Try to make it as flat as I can. Sometimes it'll be really wrinkly or bended and that's what ironing will help with like making it all straight and stuff. So I'm going to iron and never leave the iron like sitting on like any type of fabric or material or anything because it will burn it and it could like, like it's very dangerous if you do that. Like you, so like always have your iron like this, especially if it's on or something. So just, you can see how much smoother this is already. Like, just iron your thing out. If you're a child, please have adult supervision or have adult permission to do this. Well, both. So finish ironing it till it's flat, till it's flat, okay? Okay, I did a bit more ironing since, like, end of the video since I have version my thing off so now your thingy will look like this this is how your thing should look like all smooth and stuff and it doesn't have to be like fabric that looks like this or anything but so now 
you are going to grab your needle and thread. To get this, it doesn't matter which side it's on. There's something you can do. So just don't. So like start like look at the wrong side and like poke through and don't be too far away from the edge, but don't be so close. And so what you're gonna do is, we're gonna do just a classic running stitch. And if you don't know what that is, it's just the in, out, in, out, in, out. And now, like, don't make your so far apart, but try to make them pretty close, but not like too close. So it's going to be about like that size of the stitch. And if you don't have enough thread, when you're going all around, you can go ahead and pull it or gather it along the way if you need to don't be afraid to do that because like i've had to do that when i was doing my my um yo-yo both times and i've done two yo-yos so far and this will be my third one so I'm going to go ahead and sew a few more stitches and i'll show you what to do next well i'm actually just going to finish like stitching all around and I'll show you what to do next and yeah okay so with this so if it if you don't have a lot of string left and like you're like maybe about halfway through or like even any way through and you don't have a lot of string just pull it like this and it sometimes your the wrong side will be out so just kind of like flip it and make your right side be out And then kind of pull it again and now like you have plenty more string if you can see my string and like just looks like this so far kind of like a little thingy and if you get like a random knot or something in your thread for some reason just um after you're done just keep on going with your um running stitch because at the end you, you will have to pull your tail or like the thing that like you made the knot with like the beginning stitch that you made the knot with and stuff in the first part of it you're gonna have to pull that anyway so it won't really matter but you might just lose a bit of thread that way so yeah so once you've sewed all the way around till your right side your first knot so what you're first going to do is you're going to find your like the knot like the tail or whatever you want to call it you're going to also grab this and you're going to basically pull them both it's like pull some with one pull some with the other like it doesn't matter how much because you can always adjust it it's like kind of looks like a weird bag right now but the end result i promise you will not look like that so you will kind of pull it out and flatten it and since my thing the middle is coming undone a little bit i'm just kind of pulling it together more And you're basically going to tie it in a knot or whatever. Kind of like you're tying your shoes like a knot. So basically the X and then a knee. Wait. No, no, X. Then through the hole and then pull. Going to do another one of those. X through the hole. Wait and pull and do as many of those as you would like until you feel secure with your thingy and you think it's going to be good so once you've done that you're basically going to um so you're going to get this and you're going to basically so if there's any left of the hole, just try to go in 
through the hole and come out like at the bottom or one of the sides. And like that one part should be pulled through, but then like the other stuff, just kind of try to tuck it in the best you can. But then right here, just cut that. If there's anything else on the top, just kind of try to tuck it in there. And that's basically how you do it.